Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. This is an A2 level reading lesson and we're going to be reading an article about the different places where people live. All right, so here is a map of a town. We're showing the different streets and maybe you can pick out some places. Um, looks like a park over here, maybe a zoo, uh, maybe a park. Uh, that looks like a church some houses, um, you know, all different kinds of buildings. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about how to find and identify places in the town or city where you live. So uh, think about some of the things that might be in your town. Uh, there could be apartment buildings, a sports center, maybe some museums, train station, or a bus stop. And then read these sentences and answer them true or false according to your town. So these answers will be different for each person depending on where you live. But just think about them and think about the things that you can find in your town. There are lots of parks and green spaces for people to relax. There's a large river. There's a lot of traffic, especially on weekdays. Most people live in houses with a garden and my town has a good public transportation system. All right, and these are some symbols that often appear in maps, on maps, um, and what do they represent? What do you do at these places? And do you know what each symbol represents? So you can take a few moments, pause the video, write down um, your answers for what which what things each of these symbols represent and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. All right, so picture A would represent a cafe, B is a post office, C is a police station, D is a money exchange, E is an art gallery, F is a bakery, G is a museum or historic building. H is a train, metro, subway, or underground. I is an airport. And J is a bank. All right, so look at these pictures and how can you connect them? All right, so this looks like a house that maybe is for sale and the people are um, moving, packing up their items. Um, this shows all of their belongings which have been boxed up and labeled. And then a sold sign. Um, so someone else has bought this house that was for sale and then getting the keys to the new house. And now answer these questions about yourself. Have you always lived in the same place? Have you ever moved to a new home? And do you know your neighbors? Okay, we're going to read about Sally and you can either pause the video and read on your own or you can follow along as I read. I'm Sally Ann, but everyone calls me Sally. I've lived in this neighborhood for many years. Last week, a new guy moved in. I think his name is Stephen or Stefan. I can't remember. I've seen him a couple of times. I spoke to him once, but just for a few minutes. Today, we're meeting at 10 a.m. I'm going to show him around. So Steve is new in town, and what do you think that Sally will show him? Well, here this looks like maybe a library or a cafe or a bookstore with a cafe. This looks like it might be some sort of museum. All right, to show someone around, that means to take someone on a short tour of a new place. Community is the people in your neighborhood. Peak is the highest level. And join is become a member. So Sally and Steve are neighbors. Sally has lived in the neighborhood all her life, but Steve has just arrived and Sally is showing him around. 
Okay, so this is Maple Street. If you turn right and go two blocks that way, you'll come to a community center. There's a swimming pool and a gym, but it's quite small and gets really crowded at peak times of the day. The library is good though, and it's free to join if you're a local. Right, okay. So without referring to the text, read each statement and decide whether it's true or false. Take a few moments. And then we'll check our answers. All right, so number one is false. They're not standing on Apple Street, they're on Maple Street. Community center is small, that's true. Inside the community center is a gym and a yoga room. What's well, false? Probably false. It doesn't mention a yoga room. They visit a cafe. That's false. They visit the community center. And it doesn't cost money to become a member of the library. That was true. All right, within is not further away from pharmacy, a shop where medicinal drugs are prepared or sold. Craft is an activity involving skill in making things by hand. Browse is to look at goods for sale in a leisurely and casual way. Let's turn left here and we'll come to Main Street. That's where all the shops are. Now, is there a supermarket near here? Yes, there are two supermarkets within walking distance. There's one, that's one of the great things about this area. There's also a pharmacy just across the street and there are lots of interesting shops on Main Street. We have bookshops, craft shops, and lots of good quality secondhand shops if you like browsing. All right, so now you can talk about your neighborhood. Do you have a Main Street or High Street where many shops are located? Is there a large supermarket in your neighborhood? Are there sports facilities in your area? And in your town, what is a pharmacy called and what does it sell? Some other firms, words for pharmacy might be drugstore, might be chemist. Um, so those are some possible answers to the last one. All right, it's nothing fancy means it's not special, it's ordinary. Packed is another word for crowded. Awesome means excellent or great. It's a very informal um, way of saying something's excellent or great. To check something out is to look at or go to a place, uh, often for the first time. Okay, sounds great. Are there any good restaurants? Yes, lots. My favorite place is called The Red Truck. It's nothing fancy, but they have delicious food. It's always packed on Sunday mornings for breakfast. There are lots of Asian restaurants too, and a couple of Italian places. Actually, this cafe has great coffee, and they do an awesome cinnamon, and they do awesome cinnamon buns too. Should we check it out? Absolutely. Okay, so food is important to most people, and Sally gives a lot of information about it. So go ahead and see if you can answer these questions and then restart the video when you're ready to check your answers. Oops. All right, so for some reason it's not letting me show both of those at the same time. There we go. So Sally's favorite restaurant is called The Red Truck. What does Sally say about Asian restaurants? She says there are a lot of them in the neighborhood. What does Sally describe as awesome? Cinnamon buns. 
And at the end of the text, what do they decide to do? To check out the cafe. All right, so here are the, here's the map of the neighborhood with all of the places. Um, so again, we can say this is either a museum or a historical building. Here's the police station, the post office, the cafe, the bank, the bakery, and um, the train station. All right, that brings us to the end of today's video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, leave those for me in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.